Hello everyone, welcome to Space for Three. Today we are back at the Redlands and this time around we pulled over to the side of the road. We found this really cool spot, it's called Environmental Surroundings. And they have parrots, they got wood sculptures, they have a gallery, they have all kinds of stuff. They even sell bird cages and tiki huts like the one behind us. Very cool. So come along, we got plenty of space. Gia. Here we are. This is one of the sheds where they use as a workshop to create some of the carvings made out of wood. So I'm gonna show you guys around so you can see some of the progress. This is work in progress. Look at this woodwork. That amazing woodwork. This is an actual tree. Check out the amount of detail. So this piece will eventually end up at the gallery or somewhere for sale for you guys to purchase. So make sure you like them on Facebook and follow them on their social media so you could get updates on the different sculptures and stuff that they make. Here we are at the Sawmill Gallery. It's a little tiny place inside environmental surroundings and they have a lot of artwork in here that mostly is done out of wood. and. Uh, most of this stuff is for sale so you can check it out come and check it out and buy a piece of a painting or a piece of woodwork that is really beautiful rules and this is my wife and my name is Vanessa Vanessa Wilking and, <laughs> and, she, and Vanessa makes van concoctions and today is Vanessa is going to be making uh, simple salves that go on the skin with beeswax from the Everglades the uh, estuary here uh, from it's at Lee's apiary Del Senor apiary on Stone Avenue 
and they'll fill in the pores, but it keeps the castor oil in it, and castor oil is incredible for the body. It does something called smooth muscle contractions, and it is absorbed, and one of the interesting things about castor oil is it will not be metabolized until the cell needs it. So it'll take castor oil into its cell, complete as it is, but then when it needs it, it breaks it down. This bird is Michelle, and uh, she took a chunk out of me about uh -oh. three weeks ago, and most people would have got stitches. Instead, I used Willard's water, and you can find that online. There's a 60 Minutes interview, Dr. Willard out of the Black Hills of South Dakota, and or is it North Dakota? Anyway, it healed quite nicely, but I do watch my fingers with Michelle, hmm. although she will nuzzle with people. Now, the one thing that we can try to do is if we sing happy birthday, she may react. And so who do we want to sing happy birthday to? Cassandra. Cassandra. All right. Ready? Michelle. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Cassandra. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Alright, so we're gonna go up the tiki. Here we go. Going up. Here we are at the top level. Check out this view. Pat Shield of Environmental Surroundings says he's very patient. Now, I, what I do is I keep my fingers and, and thumb together if I take my eye off. Uh, his feathers are not clipped. Um, and so I'm learning to how to work with parrots. One thing interesting about parrots, just like humans, they need a lot of sulfur. Because the keratin, keratin's about 25% sulfur, and their feathers are loaded uh, with sulfur. Yeah. Now, this guy here will... <laughs> 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 He'll definitely like bread. There you go. Oh, oh sorry. Mommy, if you offer more, he's going to drop for the last piece. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry, buddy. Hi, Larry. Hi, Larry. Come here, Larry. Hi. Now, Larry has will grab his wing and start hopping on it. Uh, let me... And, uh, no, no, big, big, long piece, so I don't lose a finger. If you rip, like, a section there. Yeah. And, um, so I tend to want to give him something, and then, so his mouth is a little bit occupied. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so, he dropped it. There you go. Hi, Larry. So, and I think yeah. it's getting used to the different, different people. And um, so Larry will be occupied for a, another 60 seconds. So the other day I gave him a piece of chicken. They are omnivores. They eat uh, lots of things, uh, including your own kind. At first I was like, it's a cannibal, <laughs> but it, it's not. It's a uh, it very smart. And I gave him a big piece of chicken. And being new to this, it was one of the first times I'd had him on my hand. I was like, oh my God, he's going to be here for half an hour. So I have to hold him. So maybe in the next couple of days, Pat may clip his wings and I'm going to get safety goggles and then let him crawl up my arm. And because Pat said to me, he said, always keep in mind that to burn your, to them, your eyes look like grapes. Uh -oh. Oh, okay. 
okay. These things, I left my heart in San Francisco. Really? Yeah. Hi. And we'll see if he's, oh my goodness, he's coming up to you so easily that he's, uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, that's good. He's good. Now this guy here, you can't watch, overfeed them. if he is not happy about your food, you'll be afraid of missing a finger. So come on over. And I would take this piece, just so you don't too close. I was going to okay. give him this which one. Yes, go ahead. It's your turn. It's, 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 this it's, one? It's the green one or the is red it one? On, which one? Cassandra. Cassandra. Okay. The green one. Oh, he's very gentle today. I don't know if I'm going to so fit. He's being very gentle. Well, I'm not going to fit. And I crush it down sometimes. Oh. See? Uh oh, they're fighting over food. No, here. They're talking through. They're talking through what I'm doing. Alright, which one of you is getting it? What do you take it? There, there it you go. There yeah. you go, buddy. There right. you go. <laughs> He's holding it. They both are. So cute. But he's a lot of salt. So you want to eat a lot of salt. That concludes our visit here at Environmental Surroundings. We're right off of Chrome Avenue in the Redlands. So if you're ever in this area, make sure you stop by. There's some fun stuff to do here. It's a very chill place, so I'm sure y'all are gonna like it. You definitely gotta come check this place out. You can stay here as long as you like, roam around, feed the parrots, come up and rest in the Tiki Bar. I mean, the Tiki Hut up here. There you got some <laughs> drinks, some refreshments. Tiki bar, yeah, that's what this should be. <laughs> yeah. You can turn it into your own tiki yeah. bar. Yeah, it's amazing. So, it's with that lot. being said, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, we got to feed parrots, so if you come at the right time, um, that just happened to be the case for us today. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's not something that they normally schedule, Yeah. but you never know. You might encounter some kind of activity. Um, we also got to pet a catfish. So with that being said, make sure you like, subscribe, ding the bell. And all that good stuff. And don't forget to meet new faces. See new places. And always leave a space for love. Bye. Hey. See, there he is. He's down there. She rubbed the whole, she's yeah. the whole fish. See him? Oh, yeah. oh I see him there. Come on. Come on. He's Ukrainian. Yeah. If you pet him, he comes, you can pet him behind the eyes and back. You can pet the fish. But you don't want him to hit you with the antenna, with the whiskers. Because it stinks. It stinks. And that's Actually, it. You've seen it here at Environmental Surroundings on Chrome <laughs> Avenue and yeah. 247.